Hello everybody, I was wanting to continue on from uh, where I left off before uh, on this book. False Christ coming, does any, anybody care? What New Age leaders really have in store for America and the church and the world. It's a really good book by Warren B. Smith, and I do highly recommend it, but uh, I want to continue on where I left off. Uh, remember, uh, what I said before in the last two videos, all the New Age religions and all the secret societies are based on mystery, Babylon, Gnosticism. Uh, Gnosticism is about how, through secret knowledge, that man can become his own savior and become a god himself. Uh, to a Gnostic, uh, the god of the Bible is an evil god, holding man back from Gnosis, which is secret occult knowledge. And they believe that Lucifer is the good God that gives man the secret knowledge whereby man can become God. Just remember this uh, definition of Gnosticism as I continue on reading in the book where I left off before. This is uh, chapter one of the bo uh, book. Helen Shockman, Marianne Williamson, and A Course in Miracles. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Matthew 24, verses 4 and 5. In 1965, Columbia University professor of uh, medical psychology, Helen Shackman, heard an inner voice saying, This is a course in miracles. Please take notes. Shuckman initial resistance was overcome when the inner voice identifying itself as Jesus told her the purpose of this course. The world situation is worsening at an alarming degree. People all over the world are being called on to help and are making their individual con contributions as part of an overall prearranged plan. Part of this plan is taking down A Course in Miracles and I'm fulfilling my part in this agreement as you will fulfill yours. You will be using abilities you developed long ago and when you are not really ready to use again because of the acute emergency. However, the usual slow evolutionary process is being bypassed in what might best be described as a celestial speed up. These spirits is talking to these people like this. This is not Jesus. This is uh, deceiving spirits. But uh, anyways, uh, she goes on saying, baffled by her assignment, but nevertheless obliging, the skeptical shockman diligently took down that, uh, dictations from this inner voice. In the seven and a half years of culminative dictation that become A Course in Miracles, Shockman's Jesus presents a whole new way of looking at the world. Using Christian terminology, sophisticated psychology, and convincing authority, Shuckman's Jesus teaches a completely different gospel than the one found in the Bible. His New Age gospel wholly contradicts the Bible's gospel of Jesus Christ. Shuckman's inner voice, while claiming to be Jesus, actually opposes everything for which the Bible and Jesus stands for. A Course in Miracles teachings. In brief, A Course in Miracles teaches that all is love, and while A Course teaches that the opposite of love is fear, it explains that fear is, is just an illusion based on wrong thinking. It states that the world we see is merely the projected manifestation of our own elusive, fearful thoughts. As each one of us learns to correct our fearful wrong thinking, it will change not only how we see the world, but also change the world we see. The purpose of the Course is to facilitate the change in perception. According to the Course, love is all there is, and because God is love, God is therefore in everyone and everything. It states God is sinless, perfect, and at one with all creation. And that we, as a part of God, are also sinless and perfect in our oneness with Him. It teaches that man's only sin is not remembering his own perfect, sinless, divine nature. The only devil is our illusions that we are separate from Him and not a part of God. The Course tells 
It's readers that a sense of separation from God is the only lack you really need to correct. The Course also teaches that while Christ is in Jesus, so Christ is in everyone, and that Christ in everyone is their divine connection with God and with each other. The Course further teaches that a slain Christ has no meaning. It states that wrong thinking has produced a mis- perception that man is a sinner and that he needs an external Christ to save him from, from his sins. The Course teaches that salvation has nothing, nothing to do with Jesus' death on the cross. Salvation comes from the Course, from what the Course calls the atonement, which they call the at-one-ment process. The atonement or atoning is where each person remembers and affirms and experiences their oneness, their at-one-ment with God in creation. The atonement in the course course is key to undoing fear and dispelling the illusion that man is separate from God. The course stresses that healing of the world is dependent upon each person fulfilling their atonement function to teach this oneness to the world. When everyone comes to understanding that all is love and all is God, then inner peace and world peace will finally happen. Only fear and illusion of separation stands in the way of man attaining the peace for himself and for his world. Popularizing the Course A Course in Miracles was published in 1975. In 1979, psychiatrist Gerald Jampolsky's book, Love is Letting Go of Fear, became a powerful testimony and catalyst for Course's sale as it helped introduced Course's principles to the popular self-help market. During the 1980s, the Course gained a grassroots following of dedicated believers who were often mysteriously led to the Course through unusual, seemingly meant-to-be coincidences and circumstances. It was always assured that this was meant-to-be experiences were divinely inspired. Over time, curiosity and interest in the Course grew and it became a cult classic for those in the spiritual know. Beloved to be, believed to be modern day revelations from the real Jesus, the apparent gift from God presented new and seemingly plausible reinterpretations to the teachings of the Bible. Because of the course, spirituality suddenly appeared to make uh, much more sense to many more people. It even as a word as the word spread the course still remained relatively relatively unknown to the general public mainstreaming christ that all that all changed in 1992 when a little known author named marianne williamson in her book uh, return to love reflections on the purpose of a course and miracles was featured on the oprah winfrey show in praising Williamson's book about the course, Oprah told her viewers that she had already purchased a thousand copies of Williamson's book. After Oprah enthusiastically endorsed a return to love, shot to the top of the New York Times bestseller list and stayed there for months, the false Christ of A Course in Miracles was suddenly out of the closet. He and his New Age, New Gospel teachings had just been mainstreamed into millions of America's homes thanks to Oprah. Thanks to Oprah Winfrey and the false Christ of A Course of Miracles now had celebrity status. But during the interview that day, Williamson and Oprah failed to mention that the Jesus of the Course of Miracles is not the same Jesus Christ described in the Bible. And that the teaching of A Course of Miracles actually contradicts and opposes the teaching of the Bible. Over the years, Williamson has, Williamson has continued to champion A Course in Miracles to the media through her books and her public appearances around the country. Her 1997 book, Healing of the Soul of America, enabled Williamson in the Course to make a subtle transmission and transition into the political arena, hoping to inspire a new age, new gospel approach to national and world problems. Williamson, along with the best-selling Conversations with God, author Neil Donald Walsh co-founded the Global Renaissance Alliance. Many well-known New Age gospel advocates and course proponents were recruited to serve in the Alliance. In fact, one of the Alliance's board members, in much the same manner as Helen Shuckman, 
says she too received new revelations from an inner voice claiming to be Christ. Her name is Barbara Marks Hubbard. Thank you. Uh, I'll continue on uh, in the next uh, uh, chapter tomorrow. Thanks for your attention. Thanks and God bless.